Hello everyone. Uh, just have to admit off the bat, I've never watched an episode of Shark Tank, so I'm going to do the best I can. Just not big into reality shows. I do have a TV, but it doesn't play Shark Tank, evidently. Uh, so for my presentation, I would like to begin. The company I will be presenting is DK Compositions. This is a talent service production company, which is a little different than a manufacturing company in that the production is primarily services. On a side note, the music behind this presentation is all music produced by DK Compositions. So we're gonna go through the master budget. And with that, the first budget is the sales budget. Uh, here you will see the three different products uh, produced by DK Compositions. The first being classical alternative, which basically means individual music pieces created for sales to individual customers. The second and third are basically musical pieces composed for other parties. First, obviously, being musical artists, and the second being corporations. The total revenue for the year is uh, projected to be $125,000. Um, as you'll see later with the extremely high costs in comparison to that number, um, the company will be operating in a loss in its first year. The explanation for that is as productions grow, they are sold in layers. And let me explain. In the year 2023, all of the productions will be sold and included in that revenue, as well as repeated sales of productions in the year 2022. As you go into the year 2024, you're selling not only new productions in 2024, you're selling historical productions in 2023 and 2022. So the revenue layers continue to grow while the costs remain somewhat at a constant. In the production budget for the year 2022, there are 41 units projected to be produced. Uh, these are musical compositions, so roughly evenly spread throughout the three different products. And uh, throughout the year, the uh, units increase in quantity because uh, it's anticipated that new customers will come on board. And in the fourth quarter, there will be additional units sold due to the holidays. Materials budget, we have about $2,700. It's not a very large amount. The uh, reason for that, the artist compositions and corporate jingles, the latter two products uh, produced using electronic media. So there's no physical packaging. The uh, classical alternative will be distributed mostly through electronic media, but some portion of it, about 10%, five to 10% will be distributed for sale in physical brick and mortar stores in, in the form of CDs. Direct labor budget, this is the biggest cost of the budget, uh, $624,000 for the year. The uh, costs do increase as the year goes on first half of the year, about $100,000 per quarter, and that increases towards the end of the year because of new customer growth and um, the holidays. Service overhead budget, about $100,000 for uh, variables overhead, of about half that, and fixed overhead for rent utility software depreciation about half that as well. So, an administrative cost budget, uh, about half of the overhead. So $51,000 for the year, um, we've got sales commissions, shipping of physical units to stores and distrib distributor subscriptions, online subscriptions, um, constant small cost. And then administrative, we have rent, salaries, supplies, and expenses. Cost of 
services budget uh, this combines the materials labor and overhead so roughly just shy of seven hundred thousand dollars anticipated cash collections um, we've got beginning accounts receivable of zero since it's a startup company and in the first quarter we collect 80 percent of the first quarter revenue and 20 percent of that in the second quarter then in the second quarter we collect 80 percent of the second quarter and add that layer to the collections and so on and so forth so about 131 thousand dollars for the year anticipated cash payments we have the direct materials direct labor overhead and selling administrative costs uh, I'll accept the labor and the accounts payable payments of 130, dollars $140,000 a year, and the salaries there are $624,000 for the year. Um, the cash payments similar to receivables in that for the payables, we are collect, or sorry, not collecting, paying this time. 80% of the first quarter through $32,376, and 20% of the first quarter in the second quarter. $844 and then we add the second quarter's layer of 80% of the second quarter, $14,741, so on and so forth. So total cash outflow of about $763,000. And that brings us to where you come in. So with the collections and payments uh, projected for 2022, just a little short, you know, maybe $632,000. Um, if you like the music you hear, uh, consider it an investment into the growth of that music. And if you don't like the music you hear, consider it an investment in a profitable future enterprise that will return, bring a return on your investment. This may be the end of my presentation. I consider it the beginning of a new venture. I thank you for watching.